just like the feeling of certain things being high. It's a gritty look into the world of addiction. This is sort of a scared straight initiative. Chasing the Dragon, the life of an opiate addict is a new documentary film produced by the FBI and the DEA. You know, we are also 5% of the world's population, yet we consume 99% of the oxycodone. The heads of Maryland's top law enforcement agencies presented the film tonight at the Catonsville campus of the Community College of Baltimore County. The group hopes the film is shown in places like schools to raise awareness. The number of heroin-related deaths is skyrocketing in Maryland. A big reason? The more powerful synthetic opioid, fentanyl, is being mixed in with heroin. So we're working with our state and local partners, um, other federal agencies, to target those individuals who are supplying street-level supplies of heroin and fentanyl. But it goes beyond heroin. Experts say addictions to prescribed pain medications, namely oxycodone, is often the gateway to the cheaper heroin. Every third grader can tell you how bad cigarettes are for you, but they can't tell you how dangerous it is to take someone else's prescription medication. The other thing, though, is to stop the overprescribing of oxycodone. And that's another important initiative that the Justice Department is working on, to work with doctors and pharmacies to make sure that people who get these drugs need it, and they only get the amount that they need, and they understand the implications if they get hooked. Now here's a snapshot of how bad the heroin problem is getting in Maryland. Just in Anne Arundel County, this time last year, there were 24 heroin-related deaths. Today, there are 78. We're live in Catonsville, George Lettuce, WBAL, TV 11 News.